70 Sports TV here. I'd like to respond to the recent debates going on in the YTVC in regards to Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Muhammad Ali. Now, Floyd Mayweather came out in the interview recently and suggested that he was greater than Muhammad Ali. And the reasons for him giving that was uh, saying that, you know, he's undefeated, Ali had losses, blah, blah, blah. And I see people regurgitating this nonsense. So this is my response to that, right? First, let me say this. It's a shame that I have to say this, but, you know, you're so used to people coming to the videos, not listening to the videos, and just automatically making assumptions. First of all, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a great fighter, all right? Um, anybody who's been watching my videos know where my stances are on Floyd Mayweather Jr. He, however, he's not on the level of Muhammad Ali. And uh, inside or outside the ring, he's just not on that level. Floyd is notorious for saying there's levels to this. you damn right there's levels to this. And you ain't on level five yet to be fucking with Muhammad Ali. You're just not, bruh. You're just not. Okay? Muhammad Ali was rolling with Malcolm X, Louis Farrakhan, Elijah Muhammad. You roll with Justin Bieber, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Triple H. But you're talking about me. It's levels to this. you damn right it's levels to this. Stay in your lane. Do what you do in this era. But you're talking about the greatest of all time, best ever, whatever you want to, whatever phrases you want to use. Now, I got to take it here because I've been seeing some comments from some hardcore Mayweather fans. Calling people Uncle Tom's, Coons, sellouts. Because these people, uploaders, are saying that they feel... Muhammad Ali was greater than Floyd Mayweather. Let me repeat that. People who are saying that Muhammad Ali was greater than Floyd Mayweather are being called sellouts in Uncle Tom's. So you have to ask yourself, even though we know that that sounds absolutely ridiculous, it doesn't make any sense, right? But we have to ask the question, why do these people think this way? What has Floyd Mayweather done to warrant that type of respect? from these people. Where, what political stances has Floyd Mayweather stood on that would put him on that pedestal over Muhammad Ali? That if you don't support Mayweather, you must be some type of sellout. What stances has he taken? Let's talk about this for a minute. Muhammad Ali changed his name from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali when he converted to Islam. Okay? He was in search of his true identity as a black man living in America. Muhammad Ali stood for black empowerment. He preached black independence, self-love. He stood up against a machine, the greatest military force ever known to this planet Earth, the United States government. He single-handedly stood up against them, lost millions, lost his title, lost three years of his prime, risked jail time, inspired an entire generation of youth to ride with him, of all races. But somehow, all of that could be overlooked because Floyd Mayweather's political stances must be greater than Muhammad Ali's political stances. Last I checked, the only political stance Floyd Mayweather has ever opened his mouth to take was that he supported gay marriage. I repeat, the only political stance that I can remember Floyd Mayweather taking is that he supports gay marriage. No comparison to the great Muhammad Ali. None. I don't understand where you guys are coming from here. I don't understand. Let's talk about in the ring then, right? Only reason I'm talking about outside the ring shit is because y'all running around here calling people Uncle Tom's and sellouts. We don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You need to educate yourself on the words that you're using. Muhammad Ali was a, a, a hero. A hero. A man who sacrificed himself 
for the betterment of his people. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has came out on numerous occasions and let you know he don't give a fuck about nobody but Floyd Mayweather. This man came out and said he ain't doing nothing for Africa. Africa ain't did nothing for me. I didn't even make a video about it. it didn't surprise me. But when I heard people was calling me telling me what he said, I said, man, don't even worry about it. It just makes no sense to even get upset about it. Because the hardcore Mayweather fans are not going to be upset with Floyd for this. They're going to look for a way to defend it. That's why you see this new, all of a sudden, this, this mass conversion to Hebrew Israelites all of a sudden. Now, the people who are already Israelites, shout out to y'all. No disrespect. But it's a lot of phony motherfuckers on here who was just talking this, I'm an African shit, three weeks ago. I'm a Moor shit. And now all of a sudden they Israelites since Mayweather this Africa. See, see how, how motherfuckers are willing to change their own ideologies just to be in support of this guy? Amazing. But let's talk about the ring. Carcino and, and uh, Blood Boxing already went down the list and um, talked about Ali's resume. So I'm going to keep this short. I'll just keep it simple like this. Who on Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s resume can equate to a Sonny Liston? Who on Floyd Mayweather's resume is equal to a Sonny Liston? That's all I want to know. Who on Floyd Mayweather's resume is equal to a Floyd Patterson? We're talking about some of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Scratch that. We're talking about some of the greatest fighters of all time. Who on Floyd Mayweather's resume can equal to a George Foreman? Who on Floyd Mayweather's resume can equal to a Joe Frazier? We're talking about some of the greatest fighters of all time. Not greatest in their era. Not guys who just had a title, some alphabet belt. We're talking about some of the greatest fighters of all time. Mayweather does not have those guys on his resume. We have to look at who he fought. Yes, Floyd is a great fighter. We're not taking nothing away from him. But like he says, there's levels to this. Okay? There's levels to this. He's just living in an imaginary world. And most of his fans are. Who think that this dude can fuck with these guys. His resume is not that thick. I just saw a video from Carcino. The brother Carcino says that Marcos Maidana is the toughest challenge for Floyd Mayweather. I repeat, Carcino says Marcos Maidana is the toughest challenge for Floyd Mayweather. And I saw a lot of people agree with him. If Marcos Maidana is the toughest challenge for Floyd Mayweather, then he does not deserve to be mentioned in the same fucking breath as Muhammad Ali. That is so ridiculous. Marcos Maidana is the toughest challenge for Floyd Mayweather, but yet we're going to criticize who Muhammad Ali fought? Are we being serious here, guys? What in the fuck is wrong with us today as boxing fans? Marcos Maidana is the toughest challenge for Floyd Mayweather. But he's the greatest. Based off of what? Who has he fought then? If Marcos Maidana is that dude, who, who the fuck else has he fought? You see where I'm going with this? You have to look at who the guy has fought. And one guy tells me, he says, look. Floyd is the greatest. You know, he said, he said, you can't be the greatest if you have losses. Right? Now, this is interesting because this is how you expose the hypocrite. I said, okay, well, Joe Kawasaki was undefeated. He has more wins than Floyd Mayweather. Rocky Marciano was undefeated. He has more wins than Floyd Mayweather. Wouldn't they be the greatest? Then these hypocrites will say, no. They wouldn't be the greatest because Kawasaki, who he didn't fight this person or that person. They say, well, Marciano, he didn't fight this person or that person. And he fought this guy when he was over the hill. You see how they're willing to dig into resumes and be technical when it does when it suits their needs? But when we do the same thing to Mayweather to try to explain to them why he's not the greatest, they don't want to have it that way. 
They don't want to have it that way, guys. So like I said, it's just ridiculous. Floyd Mayweather has nobody on his resume that can equal to the guys, uh, the, the Hall of Fame legendary fighters that Muhammad Ali beat. If you're talking about outside the ring, it's not even a contest. Muhammad Ali risked jail time for fighting and standing up against the Vietnam War. Floyd Mayweather went to jail for beating up a bitch. It's not, it's no comparison here. Do you understand what I'm talking about, guys? I hope this video was made slow enough for the masses to understand. I know you want to defend Floyd. I know you feel like he's always being under attack. So you, you feel like you, you're obligated to defend this guy. But there's a time and a place for everything. 78 Sports TV. It's all love. I holler.